Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We are starting our crawl space waterproofing series. This is a professional DIY series for those homeowners that want to waterproof their crawl space and or basement. We'll show you how to install gravel perforated pipe along the footer, what type of pipe is used. We'll also show you how to cut the basement floor and install that same system. We'll show you the exterior waterproofing, MDS quick drain, and gravel perforated pipe, where it, where it goes and how it's installed. We'll show you how to find black mold and how it's formed. We'll also show you how to install a vapor barrier, teach you how to dig that trench along that foundation wall, show you how to core your foundation to bring that water from the sump pump out. We'll also show you gravity discharge, lots of ways to move water out. We're also going to show you the professional series for installing French drain catch basins, the best applications for it. All of this will be available and posted uh, in a playlist after they're all up so you can always come back and watch the entire series. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to install a Zoller sump pump down in a crawl space and we're going to show you the basics of putting this sump pump together. It's probably the easiest do-it-yourself project you've ever done, and Zoller makes a great pump. You know, I've been installing Zoller pumps for nearly 30 years, and I've never replaced a pump, ever. So if you're going to buy a pump, buy a Zoller. Before we plumb the sump pump, we're going to go ahead and get the pit ready. The uh, sump liner, you can see this is a standard uh, sump liner. It's got outlets, knockouts. We're actually going to cut one of these off for you so you can see that's where the French drain or the drain tile will connect to the pit and bring water from under the floor or if it's in your crawl space, it's going to bring it down along the wall and put it into here where the pump takes the water out. So let's just turn this upside down. You need a hacksaw. Go ahead and set it up on the nipple and cut it off. simple, pretty quick. Now when we put this down into the hole that we dig, we're going to attach our pipe directly into this hole. It'll go into the sump pit and it'll come out through that hole right there. Drop all the water down into the sump pit and our sump pump's going to lift it out. So after you've cut out this hole, this is what it will look like when it's all put together. You're going to have your footer tile come straight into the pit. Remember that holes point down. Here's the holes. Those holes are going to be pointing down. And this is actually surrounded by gravel. And you can see how it comes into the pit. Real simple. Okay, so here's our Zoller pump and just some basic stuff here. This is the discharge of the pump. You can see there's threads in there, and we're going to stick an inch and a half nail, that means it's threaded on one end, and it's open on this end so we can put a piece of PVC into it. That goes in here and it just turns tight. Take a wrench and just tighten this up a little bit, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be super tight. Next, we're going to cut a piece of inch and a half PVC, and that piece of inch and a half PVC is going to be down onto the pump, and we want to cut it long enough that it is on top of just coming right out of the pit. Remember, there's going to be a lid on here too, so we want to put it to here, and then we're going to put a check valve on there. The easiest way to make this measurement is to go ahead and set your pump down into the pit, take a piece of PVC, stick it into the male inch and a half discharge coupling push it a little bit tight and remember we're just going to cut it right above the top of the sump liner okay so <clears throat> you've got your measurement this is going to be just just above the top of the pit we're going to go ahead and cut this piece of PVC the secret to cutting PVC basically is that you just need a really good hacksaw.
remember to cut clear through. Take your burrs off. This will be our pipe that comes up out of the pit. We'll just set the pit up here so you can see. It's just a couple inches above the top of the pit. Remember there's a lid that's going to go on here and this is going to jet up out through the top of the lid. We put a lid on there for a couple reasons. Keep people, bugs, rodents, also radon. So we do, we do our best to really cover up the pit, make sure that it stays permanently in place. Next we're going to go ahead and drill a hole in our lid for the discharge of the PVC pipe from the sump pump. And you'll notice that there's three knockouts right here. And basically this is for your electricity. You could bring it into either one of these. These would be for a radon vent. And of course I really like to put them right here in the center. And because we're putting a new pit in here, I know exactly where that sump pump's going to sit. We're going to bring it right up out of here. So you need a a two inch hole saw bit and we're just using a handheld drill you could use your portable if you have enough juice in it but we're going to use this guy <clears throat> center it up in the hole drill it out now your piece of two inch PVC will slide right through here piece of cake okay we're ready to install our sump pump down into our sump pit and again, we're just showing you how things go together, but this goes down into the pit. We take our inch and a half piece of PVC that we've already cut to length. That will slide into that male fitting, and of course we're going to glue that when we put it all together. Center your pump. Remember, we've already drilled our hole for this discharge pipe, so we're going to slide the lid on. This lid actually locks in place. A lot of lids are different, but they snap in place. And then you just twist it. That's locked in place. Now we're ready to put our check valve on here. Okay, we've installed our lid onto the top. We've got our riser coming up from the pump. This is the discharge coming out of that sump pump. Next, we're going to install a check valve. The check valve only allows water to flow one way. And you'll see those little arrows <clears throat> Those are telling you that the water flow needs to go this direction. Pretty simple. This thing costs about 10 bucks. Well worth it. It protects the pump. <clears throat> Simply slide your no hubs. It has two no hubs. Slide the no hub onto the PVC. Put your clamp in place. The bottom of that no hub. Using your cordless drill with a 5 16 inch uh, nut driver. Go ahead and tighten that up. has to be tight enough that you can't pull it apart. Okay, that's the basics to put all the sump pit, sump pump together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and plumb the discharge from the sump pump as it would come up out through your basement or crawl space. Remember, everybody's just got a different height, but we're going to give you the basics. And basically, all plumbing is exactly the same. You just got to get your measurements. So, from the sump pump, we've got our riser coming up. We've got our check valve properly installed. We're going to go ahead and bring the riser on up as it would come up and go out through the basement wall or crawl space wall. PVC slides into the no hub. Check valve is now secure. Let's go ahead and tighten up this last clamp. Nice and tight. <clears throat> the riser comes up. Put a 90 on it. Remember, you would glue all these, and this would come up, and now we're ready to go through your basement wall or your crawl space or just above the sill plate um, through the wood, depending on what you've got to go through. So this would be coming in from the outside. It connects. Of course, don't forget to glue it. A couple things. As it comes out, remember, here's your your foundation wall, okay? As it comes out through there, this will be flush up to the wall, but we're going to put a T on here. Why a T? Because we don't want things to freeze uh, in the winter, and if it does, this pipe that's going down into the ground, which attaches to your downspout drain or your yard drain, whichever, whatever you've got going on there, um, that could freeze. So this will give you the clean out on the end of the T, which is glued 
and a clean out cap, which you can unscrew in case it does freeze, and at least the water will have a place to discharge to. So that's really about the basics of installing a sump pit, sump pump with your plumbing. That kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. The Zoller M53 is one of the best pumps on the market for removing water from your crawl space or basement. We also use a Zoller M98, which is a half horsepower pump. We attach that to French drains in backyards, channel drains, driveway drains, and these pumps can easily keep up with hurricane force driven rains. We're on the road starting our national tour to help people with their foundation issues and some French drains as well. Hey, don't forget about live help, video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. We can easily answer any question you have, help you with project planning, help you with even finding labor. Use our service sign-up sheet and hop into that schedule. We are busy there, but we can still get you in. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.